Hi guys, Greg Howe here, S9 Radio. And years ago, when writing this Browning Mark III Service and Restoration Manual, I included a chapter on modifications. And in that chapter, I crunched a bunch of numbers coming up with the values for those that might want to modify their Brownings for 10 meter use. That's 28 to almost 30 megahertz. And I don't care how good you are at crunching numbers, it's always a good idea to validate your findings. So I did exactly that with my personal set of Brownings. Unfortunately, uh, solar cycle 25 had not really kicked in. I live in a pretty remote area, so there was really no way to play 10 meters on a set of Brownings. So I unmodified them, put mine back to 11 meters. And then I had these rust buckets show up here, uh, well, quite some time ago, but I just finally got around to putting them back into action. And I thought, well, what the heck? Well, I'm giving them some burn-in time. Let's put them on uh, 10 meters 28 to 29 megacycles and uh, see how they perform now that solar cycle 25 is in full swing. So here we go. Have a listen. KI6 IUJ, Kilowatt India 6, India Uniform Juliet. Thank you very much for the call. Good morning. Good afternoon. you 5 by 9. Very good signal. 59. Name is Everlet. Our location is Sahalil Island. Over. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I missed your name. If you could spell your name phonetically. And I'm having trouble with your call. I believe you said you're on an island north of Japan. I am roughly 60 miles east of Los Angeles. Once again, the call is KI6IUJ. The name here is Greg. Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf Golf. QSL? Okay, sounds great. Okay, thank you very much. And the last uh, call sign is the United Alpha Zero. Fox, Fox. My name is Vlad. Victoria, London. America, Delta. Victoria, Luma, Alpha Delta. Location, Sakhalin Island, I spell, Santiago Alpha, Kilo, Hotel, Alpha, Lima, Italy, Norway. Sakhalin Island, by the way, Ayota number, Alpha Sierra, 1-8. Kilo, India, 6, India, United, Japan, U.S. 0, Fox, Fox, over. Okay, uh, U.A. 0, Fox, Fox, K.I. 6, I.U.J., I believe you said the name was Vlad. I'm sorry, I'm trying to uh, hold the microphone and write at the same time and uh, tune you. I'm running a separate transmitter and separate receiver. Uh, these are tube radios, about 50 years old. QSL? Thank you, so Greg. Thank you very much. The nice information, nice years old. I'm very glad to meet you on the frequency. Um, and I wish you also very best. Good luck, good luck. So see you later, time to time. KI six I U J Kilowatt India six India Uniform Juliet. Kilowatt India six India Uniform Juliet five nine. Thank you for the five nine. You're also five nine near Hollywood, California. Seventy three. Doc Banana Mike, hello CQ, hello CQ 10 meters, CQ 10 meters. This is KI6 IUJ, Kilowatt India 6, India Uniform Juliet, beaming out over the South Pacific. Hello CQ, 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 KI6 IUJ, calling CQ and listening. Hello KI6 U. I'm UJ, Japan Alpha 1, Uniform Tango, Quebec. Uh, Japan Alpha 1, um, question mark, question mark, Quebec. Uh, this is KI6, IUJ, Kilowatt India 6, India, Uniform Juliet, near Hollywood, California. QSL? Hello, KI6, IUJ. Kilowatt India 6, India, Uniform Juliet. Japan, America 1, Uniform Tango, Quebec. 
Juliet Alpha One, New Uniform T Tango Q Quebec. Uniform Tango Quebec. Can you copy over? 100% QSL, Japan, America, one, uniform, Tango, Quebec. You are 5959 five, on that last transmission. My name is Greg, Greg, Gulf, Romeo, Echo, Gulf, Gulf. The name is Greg, and as mentioned, I'm near Hollywood, California. QSL? Fine, business. Hello, Greg. Kilo India, six India. Uniform Juliet near Tamiya. Japan America One. Uniform Tango Quebec. Very good afternoon, Greg. Very nice to make your acquaintance. You are also five nine. You are also five nine fifty nine. Coming in very nicely over in Japan this morning. My name is Katsu. Kilo Alpha. Tango, Sierra Uniform. My name is Katsu. I'm located near Tokyo. I'm about 30 miles, 30 miles to the west from downtown Tokyo. Well, it's very nice of you to give me the report. Five nine from near Hollywood. I'll put it back to you, Greg, and see if you can lead me all right. Kilo India, 6 India, Uniform Juliet. JA1 Uniform Tango Quebec. QSL, Greg? 100% QSL. Uh, beautiful signal, Katsu. Beautiful signal. Uh, anyways, I'm running an old, a 50-year-old uh, tube radio, a separate transmitter and separate receiver. I hope they're sounding okay. Uh, you're sounding beautiful. I'm guessing you've got a beam antenna. Uh, you're really putting a big signal into California this evening. And my working conditions, uh, about uh, 300 watts, about 300 whiskey, and I'm running into a three-element uh, horizontal Yagi. QSL? Real fine. Follow up copy, Greg. K-I-6-I-U-J. J-A-1-U-T-Q. Right back. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I can read you very well. And find both this on your separate consider no, no consider transmitter and receiver, transmitter and receiver uh, in tube, made in tube, real good. And your 300 watts with a three element hose on the Yagi, real fine, real fine. I'm running about 500 watts now, 500 watts output into a 7 almond tri-band Yagi, a 7 almond tri-band Yagi. Once again, I can read you very well on your transmission. Back to you, Greg. K-I-6-I-U-J. J-A-1-U-T-Q. Go ahead, please. Okay, 100% copy, uh, Katsu. Okay, guys, thanks for tagging along. That just about wraps it up. But before I sign off, I wanted to point out a couple little things. Although the channel indicator on the receiver is no longer useful, the frequency readout is. Instead of 27 megahertz, it's now 28 megahertz, allowing uh, accurate tuning of the 10-meter band. And then the transmitter is controlled with a custom S9 radio VFO. Years ago, I made a dual-band version of this VFO where you could just flip the switch from 11 to 10 meters. But I need to point out the radios will not do that. Tube radios are narrow banded by nature. So you're not going to be able to easily swap back and forth bands um, without doing some retuning of these IF cans in the receiver and this inductor right here, and then a total realignment of the transmitter to get it up to 10 meters. So you really need to make it a dedicated radio for those of you that have got a couple sets of Browning and a ham license or thinking about getting a ham license. Don't let anybody tell you the Brownings are worthless on sideband. As you've just seen, they work just fine. People love the way they sound. Yeah, they're a separate transmitter and receiver, 
That's kind of the way I cut my teeth getting into radio back in the 60s with separate transmitters and receivers. So it's nothing new to me. And I'll tell you what, if you can master running a set of Brownings on sideband doing worldwide contacts, you're uh, you're at the top of the game. It, it's just it's fun. I mean, doing a lot with a little. What the heck? All right, you guys. 73 till next time. Greg S9 Radio. Maybe catch you on the airwaves. I don't know which band. I'm most active on 11, but you probably find me uh, uh, cruising the dial on uh, 10 meters with these things. Until- you are anybody else want to say hello before I call the switch? This is Whiskey 9. Whiskey 9. Nobody calls you Whiskey 9. New York. KI six IUJ kilowatt India six India uniform Juliet. I'll give you just a little uh, chatter. I'm on a separate transmitter, separate receiver, uh, fifty year old tube rig. How copy? Well, I would never know it was a fifty year old tube rig because your audio sounds great and you're very strong. KI six IUJ W nine New York and my apologies to everybody who called in calling me. Clearly, the band is uh, is is really open.